Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. In this video what I'm going to show you is the basics on how to skin a rabbit or a hare and also prepare the meat. So whether you're using the meat for dog meat or you're actually using it yourself to cook up in a stew or whatever, I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, let's take a look at the hare that I've just got. Okay, so the hare we've got here guys, as I always promote, it's uh, been taken humanely. We've uh, shot it straight in the head there and it's just instant incapacitation and lights out. So no suffering whatsoever. So the first thing you want to do uh, when you've got a rabbit or a hare is you want to be able to skin it. Now there's different methods that people will talk about, but one that I've always found very, very handy is just go halfway along the back. Now it doesn't have to be exact, but you know, just pretty much on the back there. Okay, just get a nice sharp knife and just cut straight through. Okay, and what you'll see is you'll see this pocket here open up. Now, you want that just big enough to be able to slip a couple of fingers into. So if you've got to just cut it a little bit more like so, you know, you can, you can do that. Okay, so once that you like this, all you need to do is just, I put two fingers in, right? And all you do is you're going to use all your strength and you're just going to pull outwards. You can pull the legs straight out here. Same with the rear here. Okay, now with the head, look, you can basically use like a meat cleaver and, and chop it straight off if you want. But what I find is honestly, you can just twist it, okay? So you'll probably have to twist it, um, you know, probably two or three times. So just hold it here on the shoulders and then it just breaks off as you can see there. And you can just use a knife just to get through the last bit of tendon. And that can just go in the bin. Okay, so what you want to do here is basically you want to cut out uh, the anal part and the tail, okay? So I'll turn this around. Hopefully you can see it a little bit better. So when you open the legs there, you can see basically a V at the end of the meat. And all we're going to do is just chop in there. One side. The other side. And all we're going to do is just pull and you'll see basically part of the intestine come out and that can go straight in the bin. Okay, so that's all pretty much cleaned out there. So now what we want to do is obviously uh, gut it. Now, once again, you can use like this knife here just to make an incision, okay? And then because this knife has the gut hook on it, we'll use that as well. So we'll just make sure we got this lined up here. So all I do is just at the base of the uh, rib cage, just make an incision like so. So what we'll do is we'll close the knife now. We'll open up the gut hook. So all you gotta do is just get that gut hook under it and because it's just razor sharp, it just opens it up so easily, just like so. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind here is obviously we're going to clean out uh, the guts, but there's like a, a thin layer of skin that protects like the lungs and the heart from the main part of the stomach. So we'll try to get a good close up of that so that you can see that once we uh, scoop the, the guts out. Okay, so the first thing you want to do here is just get in, okay, and you just Put your hand in and just scoop out. Okay, so 
pretty much all of the stomach and everything will come out in one hit. You'll just have to get a, any leftovers out like so. Okay, so I'll, I'll cut a little bit further here just so you can see this, okay? Okay, so we've cut up. So see where the bit of skin is here? Behind it, you'll see the heart and lung. So once again, just put your fingers in, grab it, and you can just scoop it out. Like so, that comes out and just in the bin. So at this point here, you'll probably find there's a bit of blood, you know, pooling around the heart. So what I like to do is I like to be able to just, um, you know, just wash this under the tap on the hose, just clean it up a bit before we do the rest. Okay, so a little bit cleaner now. The next thing I do is obviously, uh, you know, if you did have a meat cleaver, you could just chop, um, you know, the, the feet off at the first joint. But uh, we don't have this, and I mean, if you're out in the field, you really wouldn't be carrying a meat cleaver anyway. So all I do is just push basically against the bone and the joint there, and we just push and twist. So I push like that and then twist. And what you'll see is the bone will be, be broken there, and then we can just put the knife through It'll cut through the, the tendon, basically. A bit more of a twist there. And we can just cut straight through and just put the feet in the bag as well. Okay, now the rear feet, pretty much the same. So just push back. and twist. You'll see part of the bone come out there. So then all you gotta do is just nick through that back tendon and then just cut the remaining part. Okay, so pretty much uh, ready to harvest the meat now guys. So there's three main parts that we're going to harvest. Obviously the rear legs, the front legs, and along the back here, pretty much like the back strap of the actual um, uh, rabbit or hare. So what we'll do is we'll start with the front legs here. All you've got to do with these, okay, is just grab them and lift up and you'll see like the shoulder blade come out. So what you can do is you can just run the knife straight under that, pretty much without hitting any bone. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, just, I'm not left-handed, I'm trying to do it like that for the camera. <laughs> Let's just see if we can get a, a better purchase on it here. So just start the cut there, then obviously get your hands well and truly out of the way. Just like so. So there's the first leg, and exactly the same for the other. Now, with the rear leg, basic, what, basically what you want to do is think of your hip joint. Now, with your hip joint, obviously it's connected in the socket in your hip. So with this, you pretty much just want to be able to push down, and it's almost like pretty much just dislocating it, okay? So then you can obviously cut through the leg um, you know, without hitting the bone. So you can start off by just going straight down. And then you'll know when you start hitting the bone and the cartilage there. Okay, so you'll see it. So that's it there. So basically we want to be able to get in just under it to be able to cut through the leg entirely. So there's the joint just under the main part there. So. Once you get it, you'll pretty much get straight through it without much resistance at all.
there's one leg and exactly the same on the other side okay so with the uh, basic back straps there you're going to take from where the hip starts to the beginning of the actual rib there so all you need to do is just cut in below the bottom rib okay same with the hip here just feel with your finger and you'll be able to feel the hip like so and then along the back here obviously you're going to feel for the spine and we just want to come down to the opposite side of the spine so there's the spine there so we just cut in Now, if you were using this uh, back strap, so to speak, for your own meat, as in human consumption, you can see this little bit of, I guess, uh, almost like membrane on it. So you just want to scrape that off. Um, but for me, you know, this is just for Coop, and he certainly doesn't complain. Now, on the other side. Okay, so that's it guys, it's uh, prepared now. So we've got the uh, two hind legs, the two front legs and the two back straps there. You hungry? You want some rabbit? You want some rabbit? <laughs> Good boy. What do you reckon, mate? Pretty good. Sit. Good boy. I'd say that's a big yes from old Coops here. <laughs> yep. Hoffing that down pretty quick, aren't you, boy? <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty much it guys. As you can see, that's how I prepare rabbit or hare. Uh, there's various different recipes on the internet, so I'm not going to go into that because there's just so many different types. But I just wanted to show you how I actually do that. So I hope you got something from it. It's certainly a good feeling being able to harvest a carcass and obviously be able to uh, you know, eat free range meat. So if you do like the video, please give it the thumbs up and as always, subscribe and we'll catch you on the next review.